dear learners i'm christina georgi and i welcome you to my session today's topic for discussion is title writing i'm very sure that each and every one of my learners would have done title writing in english at some point in life especially during your school years you must have written your own titles for your presses essays articles reports etc if you are into creative writing you would have certainly explored the depths of this aspect every student of literature comes across various titles of works written by renowned authors but how many of you are aware of how to write the proper titles of these works may that be for your exams assignments or any other writing activity for that matter of late i've noticed that most of our students lack clarity regarding this particular aspect so here i am to help you out with the various aspects that are involved in writing titles in english language so without much ado let's have a look at the major focus areas of today's discussion Firstly, we'll have a look at what is a title. Thereafter, we'll discuss the various uses of a title. Later, I'll introduce the various components of a title. We'll speak in detail regarding the use of colon and the importance of capitalization and punctuation. Finally, I'll also speak about content words and function words these are also important with respect to learning on how to write a proper title so what is a title in simple terms a title is a word or a group of words given to a text dear learners remember a text doesn't necessarily mean a book it could also refer to a movie a soap opera or any really cultural artifact that is subjected to study hence titles are used in various write ups say essays articles chapters in books or volumes reports or any other works if you look at the picture on screen you can see the various titles of fictional works written by a popular author who is she jane austen I'm very sure that my literature students would be familiar with these titles. Haven't you heard of Pride and Prejudice? Yes, it is also a work written by Jane Austen. So now let's have a look at the various uses of a title. A title primarily helps you identify the subject of the writer. What is this write up about? What is the central aspect in this writing? Moreover, it helps you attract the reader's attention. Dear learners, for that matter, it is equally important for you to know who this write-up is addressed to. That is, who is your reader or the audience. Accordingly, you'll have to frame your title and the writer. It helps you forecast the tone and substance of the writing to follow. Hence, title is of great significance. Now I'll speak about the various components of a title. There is this one compulsory element which is none other than the main title. Every work has a main title which would be the key identification of this particular writer. So I'll speak about this using a few examples. Moving on to the very first example, Arms and the Man. This must be a very familiar title to most of our literature students. This is because this is the title of a well-renowned play written by the Irish playwright George Bernard Shaw and is prescribed for detailed study across the universities in India for both MA and BA level learners. So this is the main title of Bernard Shaw's play. Moving on to The second example suppose we are about to write 
an article regarding the pandemic and its consequences. And for this write-up, don't we have to put a title? This is the title that we put, The Effects of the COVID-19 Pandemic. If you want to be specific, you can add on young adults or something like that. Let this be the title for now. Now let's check out the optional elements in a title. Firstly, the subtitle. Very often we see subtitles, right? So whenever you use subtitles, you must also make use of the right punctuation, that is colon. Dear learners, it is a colon that we make use of. Let's have a look at the examples. Remember Arms and the Man? Do you remember its subtitle? An anti-romantic comedy. And what about the right tip that we discussed on the pandemic? Let's say we put the subtitle as a study. Now the question is, how do you write the whole title? Let's have a look at that. This is how you write the whole title. Firstly, Arms and the Man, colon, an anti-romantic comedy. The second one, the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, a study. Now, if you look closely, you can see the occasional use of capitalization. Which words are capitalized or which alphabets are capitalized? Do you know why they are capitalized? Capitalization is indeed an important aspect in title writing. In simple terms, we can say that we capitalize the content words, whereas we never capitalize the function words in a title. Let's have a look at the examples. Arms and the Man, an anti-romantic comedy in arms. M in man, A in an, A in anti, R in romantic and C in comedy. All these alphabets are capitalized. Similarly, in example 2, T in the, E in effects, P in pandemic, A the article, and S in study are capitalized. You also see the capitalization of COVID. So here you can see all the content words are capitalized. So if you are not familiar with the content words, it is important to have clarity regarding that. Let's have a look at what content words are. In simple terms, content words are words in a sentence that have proper meaning. They include nouns, verbs, adverbs and adjectives. So if you are wondering what these nouns, verbs, adjectives and adverbs are, you need to have better clarity regarding the parts of speech. Remember the parts of speech? How many are they? Yes, indeed, there are eight parts of speech. So if you need to brush up your memory, you may pause the screen and have a reading on all the parts of speech. So basically, we studied that nouns, verbs, adjectives and adverbs would be part of content words. So what about conjunctions, prepositions, interjunctions and pronouns? All these would be part of function words. So let's check out what function words are. In simple terms, function words are words that have little or no lexical meaning. That is, they individually do not possess any particular meaning as such. These function words include auxiliary verbs such as is, are, am, etc. Prepositions such as on, at, in, etc. Articles such as a, and, the, etc. Conjunctions such as and, but, so, etc. And pronouns. In short, content words are those words in a sentence that possess sceptral meaning, whereas function words are those words in a sentence that convey 
grammatical relations just keep that aspect in mind now let's move back to these examples consider example 1 it is quite clear that all the content words are capitalized now your probable doubt would be we have studied that articles would fall under function words and here and is an article and it has been capitalized dear ones the reason is this comes after the colon that is the first word of the subtitle hence that alphabet is capitalized similarly in the second example b is an article but it is capitalized the reason is it is the first word of this particular title similarly the first word of the subtitle is also capitalized what about covid c o v i d are written in capital letters there ones very often we find learners writing small letter for covid that is not the right practice do you know the reasons and is simply because it is an abbreviation moving on to the importance of titles in exams and assignments very often especially the students of literature would certainly use very many titles as references in your answer papers always remember to write the full title that is if your title has a subtitle you need to make proper use of punctuations it is called and that we put between the main title and the subtitle another common query or a doubt which is quite prominent among the students is regarding the use of inverted commas where to use that and where not to use that how to use that and why so you must also have these queries in mind let me clarify this for you dear learners the common practice is to italicize the work title if it is in print if it is written we normally put that in quotes means for your examination if you are mentioning a work title you may make use of quotes writing your own titles especially if you are into creative writing you may come across opportunities where you will have to write your own titles students of all disciplines who study general english would also come across very many writing tasks for that matter title plays an important role if you are into writing and publishing see if there is a common framework for publication and accordingly you may frame your title nevertheless here are some points to remember when you frame titles in general first and foremost you must keep this aspect in mind that your titles need to be attractive it is the title that should catch the attention of the reader hence it should be very much catchy that doesn't mean you need to make use of complicated terms or unfamiliar vocabulary always remember to keep your titles as simple and interesting as possible be brief and direct your title should never be too lengthy it is always advisable to restrict the number of words in your title you are free to have a main title and a subtitle nevertheless the number of words should be ideally not more than 8 to 10 words it is mandatory to have a focused and accurate title which is quite relevant to the context your title should reflect the key words that are to pop up in your writing your title should give the audience a brief idea of what they are about to read of course you are free to use subtitles but it's an optional choice if you are using it make use of the right capitalization and necessary punctuations dear learners i hope you got a glimpse of the important aspects of title writing might seem a bit difficult to you at the moment but with a bit of practice you'll be able to crack it always remember that practice makes a man perfect and where there is a will there is definitely a way on that note of optimism let me conclude this session we'll meet again soon with interesting useful content so till then take care and thanks for watching